this is Snaggle from gmodtech.net. Uh, it's been a while since I made a tutorial for Gary's Mod, so I'm back here uh, revisiting one of my old tutorials that I, made, uh, that I made, and I've updated it a bit. If you see my old tutorials, you may remember that I made a lift using two buttons. And like I said, I revisited this tutorial and I've updated it now using the expression 2 chip. My old uh, contraption used lots of different gates and it was cluttered, required a lot of wiring and took a while to make. This is a lot easier, it's only two lines of code and you can make this within minutes, not even that, you can probably make this in a minute, that's how quick it is. So let's get started on how to, well first let me just show you how it works. So you've got two buttons here that control it. If you had a, a building you could have this button on the second floor and this one on the first floor so obviously you can control the lift from both floors. Uh, let's get making it then, and then I'll teach you how we're gonna how we're gonna write the code for this. We're gonna be using something called an if statement. But before I talk about that, let's just make it first. So we have the control panel here and the lift here, and we need a hydraulic. So we're gonna go to the wire tab, wire physics, hydraulic. Make sure fixed is ticked, and width is whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Right click to make it go to the opposite surface and place your controller. Now we need two buttons, one and two. Um, make sure toggle is ticked, value on is one, value off is zero. And the same for the second button. And we're done. Now we just need to write the code and I'll explain what it's doing and, um, and how to write it. So we're going to go to control, expression 2, you can choose the model of your of your expression, it doesn't matter, it's all, it's all good. Now we're going to go to new expression down at the bottom here. Now this is your wire editor, and you can delete this, this is just some information. This is where all your code is going to be written, so each line is going to be a new line of code. Up here it is well we'll start here now. Um, at name is where we're gonna we're gonna name our expression. So for this one just gonna call it expression tutorial. At inputs, okay, inputs, this is what's gonna be inputted into the expression two chip and uh, what it's then gonna process. That's how an expression two chip basically works. It inputs, processes, and then outputs. So we need uh, a source of input. Now our input is going to be our two buttons because we're going to be inputting the information into the uh, expression chip which is then going to tell the hydraulic, which is our output, what to do. So inputs are going to be our two buttons. So let's call them button 1 and button 2. So that's our two inputs sorted. Now we can start with our outputs. So once the information has been processed, it needs to be sent somewhere and this is going to be sent to the hydraulic. So we'll just name it hydraulic for now. Uh, persist and trigger, you don't need to worry about for this tutorial, let's just delete them and I'll, I'll explain them at a later date. But for now, we can just delete them and move on. If you're new to the expression 2 chip, uh, I generally suggest you just you start using comments. Comments are, uh, well, yeah, they're, they're basically comments that tell you um, that you can write yourself and you can use to remember, uh, to remember information at a later date. So if I write a comment here and write this is the if statement. If I come back at a later date, I can go. Oh, okay, this is the if statement. This is this is this is. I remember this now. That was really lame, but you get the idea. What comments can be used for? It's it's good practice to start writing them. So if you do make a code that you share with other people, they can see your comments and they can see what your code is doing. Okay, let's start writing the if statement. Um. Okay, I'm going to explain the if statement. If statement basically means is basically if condition is met, output um, or do perform the action. So if button is equal to one, hydraulic equals 100. Uh, another example is if you've made a ranger, and if this ranger becomes less than 50 in length, then the turret that it's connected to will fire. I made a story about this a while ago, I think. So you can have a look at that if you want an example. So let's start. We're going to write if to tell the expression that this is an if statement. 
and then we're going to write a condition. To start writing the condition, we do an open bracket, and now we write what the condition is going to be. So the condition is we want the buttons uh, to add up to one in total. If they add up to one in total, then the hydraulic is going to move. Now to do this, we do button one plus sign button two. That adds the two buttons together. And then we want them to equal uh, 1. So if button 1 plus button 2 is equal to 1, now you see here that I've written two equal signs instead of 1. The reason for this is the two equal signs is what means equals 2. Um, we're going to use a different operator later, but I'll just explain all the different ones now. Uh, you've got greater than 1, you've got less than 1, less than or equals 2, um, not equals 2 and um, greater uh, sorry, greater than or equals to. So you can mess about with the different operators, but for this tutorial I don't recommend it because it might not work. Um, I don't think it, well, it will work, but it will require um, to change the values. So for this we're just going to use equals to. So if button 1 plus button 2 is equal to 1, then we do an end bracket to end the condition. And if the condition is met, we need to perform an action. The action is going to be make the hydraulic uh, move. So if the button is equal to 1, then we want the hydraulic to move 100. So type hydraulic equals 100. Oh, by the way, to do, um, I don't know if I just said this, but to write uh, an action, instead of using brackets, you use the curly brackets. So at the start, we used the open curly bracket, and at the end, we used the um, closed curly bracket. If you're not sure what these brackets are, the code will be in the description of the YouTube video so you can see it for yourself. Okay, so that's our first line of code done. If button 1 plus button 2 is equal to 1, then the hydraulic is going to move 100. Now we need it so that if it doesn't equal 1, then the hydraulic is going to come back down again. Because it can't stay up forever, it needs to come back down. So we're going to use something called else if. So we'll write that as else and then if, no spaces, just one word. And this is basically going to be, if button 1 plus button 2 is equal to 1, hydraulic moves 100. Else, if button 1 plus button 2 does not equal 1, then don't move the hydraulic at all. So that's what else if is. It's, it's, it's an alternative, basically. If the first condition, if the first statement is false, then it's going to be else, else if. So we do else if condition, button 1 plus button 2, uh, yeah, button 2 is not equal to 1, remember the exclamation mark equal sign is not equal to, and that's that condition done. Now we write the action, hydraulic equals 0, and that's it, it should be done now. If we double click here at the bottom, it says validation successful, that means it's working, it's all fine. Uh, let me just go over this one more time just so you know what's going on. Uh, let me add another comment in actually just so you understand what's going on blah, blah, blah. if buttons do not equal 1 then hydraulic equals 0 alright so let's start off we've got our inputs which are button 1 and button 2 we've got our output which is the hydraulic if button 1 plus button 2 is equal to 1. Remember that we gave the buttons the values of uh, 1 for on and 0 for off. So you know if they equal 1, if 1's on, it will equal to 1, etc. So if button 1 plus button 2 is equal to 1, hydraulic equals 100. Else if button 1 plus button 2 does not equal 1, then the hydraulic will equal 0. Um, let me just uh, click save and exit and then click OK. Let me just put this down here and then I'll quickly wire it up so you can see how to wire it, and then we'll, we'll see if this works. Hopefully it should. So we go to the wire tool, we wire the hydraulic to the, exp the, hydraulic to the expression chip. Button 1 to button 1. Button 2 to button 2. And this should be it. This should be done. Okay, so let me just show how this is going to work. Alright, so button 1 